Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said, I will teach you my word. I will pour into you. You will be powerful, well, recognized. God will make sure that you know his word. You know, some of us walking around, we don't know the word of God. We think that we know the word of God. But we have to spend time in the Bible. It's very important that you study the word of God. Some of you say, I know Jesus. You don't know Jesus because you don't spend time with him. The Bible verse that I want to read is Psalm 73 and 24. And it reads, you guide me with your counsel. And afterwards, you will receive me to glory. I want you to understand, if you want God to do anything in your life, you have to learn his word. You have to spend time with God. You want God to bless you. You want God to do everything for you. But you are not doing your part as a Christian. A lot of us walk around and say, Lord, you're doing everything for me. God can give you a testimony. Your testimony, after God saved you, delivered you, you should be saved. Spending time in your word. And I'm just being honest. You got to spend time. Get to know Jesus through your Bible. Study the word of God. Stop being afraid to speak to God. A lot of people, a lot of Christians don't want to spend time with God. Because they say God opened up their eyes more. And God allowed them to see things that they don't want to see. Listen, that's the power of the Holy Ghost moving through you. If you will be scared of God. I'd rather you just tell God you're not ready to give your life to him. Listen, God don't have time to play with the church. The, the church is playing too much. God needs people that is serious. And it's either you're going to get yourself together with the Lord or you're going to keep playing. Because God tired. He don't have time for no snakes. He don't have time for no rats. And he don't have time for fake people. So please get yourself together. If you want to play with God, just tell him so he can move on to the next person. Stop playing with the Father and say, Lord, I'm just not ready to give my life to you. I'm not ready to do anything. Allow God to guide you. Allow him to teach you the way that you need to be taught. And when you let God spend time with you through the Bible, through your praise and worship, through your fasting, he will pour unto you. You will be powerful. You will be well recognized. People didn't recognize you, but now they recognize you because you know your father works and you know what he can do for you. So I just want you to know, be encouraged, stay focused, stay prayed up. You have to stay prayed up in this season and just know that you're powerful. When you got God in you, you are powerful. When you don't have God in you, you are nothing. You are nothing. And I want you to know you got to stay prayed up, do what you got to do. To stay in the will of God. Don't let the devil steal your joy. And know that God loves you regardless of what you have done. Know that God forgive you. And God wants you to live free. He wants you to know that he loves you. He wants you to know that he care. So please give your life to Jesus Christ. Know that God loves you. And know that it's just time to do better. It's time for you to do better because Jesus lives. If Jesus lived, we can face tomorrow. And I just want you to know, give your all to God. He loves you. He cares. Don't give up on Jesus. Know that he wants you to be obedient to. When you give your life to Jesus, you got to obey him too. You can't do things that you want to do. It's not about you. It's about our Father in heaven. So please let the Lord teach you his word and let him pour into you. When you get to know the word of God, he's pouring his spirit into you and you will be powerful and recognized because he working through you. So I just want to say, you know, be encouraged, stay focused, allow God work to be in you. Don't give up, but pray about all things. Stay blessed. God bless you. Be encouraged. Stay prayed up. You got it and you going to make it through. Stay blessed.